We're on Nidarim Perek Zayin, Mishnah Aleph. First Mishnah, the seventh chapter of Mesech Nidarim. We're continuing to talk about people taking Nidarim. What do they mean when they take Nidarim? Says the Mishnah, Hanodeh min ayarak. It says, no more vegetables. I'm sorry, I only eat meat from now on. Mutar badluim. He can eat gourds. Sorry, there are some vegetables. We would call dluim, interesting. Would we call them vegetables? Would we call like squash a vegetable? We would. So Rabbi Kiva says, says no, yarak. I'm sorry, the Tanakhama says yarak is not gourds. Rabbi Akiva Oser, Rabbi Kiva says, no, diluim, gourds, are considered yarak, a kind of vegetable. Abul al Rabbi Akiva, they said to Rabbi Akiva, hello, Omer Adam lishlucho kach liyarak. You say to your butler, go buy me vegetables. Who Omer comes back and says, lo matzati el diluim, all they had was gourds. So therefore, we see from this, if you sent him for vegetables, he says, they only found gourds, that gourds are not a kind of vegetables. Amar Lehem, he says, Kenitavai, you're exactly right. That's exactly what happens. O Shema Omer Hulo, but what does he say? Lo matzati ela kitnit? All I could find was beans? No. Meaning, when you send your shaliach, it's interesting. The machloket is like this. When you send your shaliach, and he comes back and he says, he's saying, buy, go buy vegetables. And he comes back and he says, all I could find was gourds. So does he say, that when he says all he could find, is he saying that all he could find and therefore it's not what you asked for? Or he's saying it is what you asked for, but it's not exactly what you kind of asked for. So therefore, Rabbi Kiva says, Gourds are part of vegetables. The kitnit yarak, but kitniot are not bichlal yarak. Therefore, he'll never come back and say, all I could find were kitni because they're not vegetables. But, but rather, when he comes back and says, Lomatsati eladluim, that's the idea, the point is to show that diluim, gourds, are a kind of vegetables. And the Chachamim say, no, when the guy comes back and says, all I could find was, he's saying, all I could find wasn't what you asked for, but something else. It's interesting, Machloket. The Asur Bepola Misa, the mission continues, you can't eat, if you say no vegetables, you can't eat the Egyptian bean lach. Once, if it's still fresh, then the Pol HaMitzri, then the Egyptian bean is, uh, is, uh, is a vegetable. Umutar Biyavesh, but they would take that Egyptian bean and they would harvest it, they would use it, they would let it dry out, and then it would be like, you know, uh, like a grain for them. So once you dry it out, then it would no longer be, be considered a vegetable, and, if you, and therefore you could eat the dried pol hamitzri, but not the fresh one. Stop here, as we always do, dedicate our learning to memory of my father, Rab. Simcha ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a great day.